Girl, Everybody it's packed out here tonight. Follow mm -hmm. the one line, please. I told you. IDs out. I need to see IDs. Thank you, ladies. Welcome to Punk Ave. Uh, excuse me. Hello? Can you move? What? Excuse me. Uh-uh. Oh my God. We, you ready to go? Girl, I've been ready. I feel like, like it. I don't even know who you are anymore. I mean, shit. Nah, for real, this is the longest, I think, this is the longest I've went without seeing you since we started the show. And it's going to be two years in like a month or two. Damn like it. June, June or July. Like, it might be June. I like, no, I think it's July. Okay, so that would be two years. Mm -hmm. that, that This has been the longest. Wow. It I has. Know. I don't even know who you are anymore. Wow. Welcome back. Clink, clink. Clink, 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 clink. You been drinking water? Your hair grew? Your eyebrows look good? I had a new I have a new eyebrow lady. Okay. My other one, she quit. So, you know, we she got quit, to make she, she 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 quit life. I mean, I don't know. No, quit, she she the quit the salon last time, or quit she, eyebrows. Last time I went in there to get my nails done. They said Mimi don't work here no more. I said, <laughs> "What? <laughs> Mimi didn't tell you? You had Mimi number? Mimi didn't tell me. Mimi oh, didn't tell me she was going. Yeah, damn. So I had to make an executive decision because my eyebrows were looking real. Do you get wet. them threaded or do you get them waxed? Wax. I like threading better for mine. Um, that hurts for me. That's too painful for me. So, um, but yeah, um, you know slowly getting back into the groove i see i see i see what about you i'm here sis we oh my god take almost just fell out i'm here you look light you look bright you know when you go to therapy you you are well, light and bright you look you look lifted therapy does that to you therapy and jesus it does it oh, to yes. you yes it does it to you i yeah. believe in therapy and jesus i Love believe it. i believe you have anything that's cool in the city well, um, so I randomly got HBO. Girl, I thought you was going to say like an STD. Girl, I'm in my head. <laughs> when you said H, I don't know what, I ain't know what letters was coming. No, it's like, I randomly got H. I was like, oh my God, PV, IV, IV, AV, <laughs> tell. HBO. Okay, well, girl, HBO. clear me, clear me, girl. HBO. So, um. Come on, home box office. Uh, so I was just like, you know what? Let me see what's good on HBO. You watched Game of Thrones, didn't you? What's cool? In Yo, listen. People have been saying about this Game of Thrones shit, right? I'm like, man, fuck that shit. That shit looks stupid. That shit looks stupid. That shit looks stupid. And is it black people in it? They killed the, uh, the black uh, misogyny. Spo misogyny. Spo don't spoiler alert is that this season because I know people I don't season. watch I don't watch Game of Thrones but I know listen. people go crazy about well it. I if you like war nope. things or um like I it, it's very it's isn't it like dragons too yes so See, that's why I couldn't really you know what I didn't like like me and my roommate watched the pilot of True Blood I didn't like it but immediately she loved True Blood so but it takes like maybe two, two and a half seasons mm -hmm. to really actually get into what's happening so um when I got HBO I said damn this shit's 15 bucks a month fuck okay well I need to really get my $15 out of this bitch girl you should have watched I'd be watching Sex and the City and Insecure on repeat yeah but I mean I need if it's $15 I need to get all 15. You, watch, you want to watch all the originals. I want to watch everything. <laughs> all okay? the originals. So <laughs> I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm off today. Um, it was a Sunday, I believe it was. And I said, fuck it. Let's do Game of Thrones. I keep hearing about it. Season 8 is the final season. 
So I was like, you know what? Let me see what this is about. They, they, they have two episodes left in this season. One episode. Oh, okay. And I'm, I'm at the edge of my seat. But anyway, so when I when I started watching it, you know, I, I literally stayed up to about maybe 5 o'clock in the morning watching all of season one. Because, um, I mean, each episode is an hour. It's 10 episodes. So I was literally, like, hooked immediately. And then it just was like, every time I came home, like, phone's off, lights off. Let me see what these dragons bottle, doing. Bottle of wine. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be the mother of dragons. <laughs> like I'm here for it. So, um, but yes, yeah, so that's what's cool in the city, man. Like I genuinely, really started to really get into that. The um, what season are you on binging? I'm done binging it. Oh, so you're caught up? Oh, I'm caught up. Okay, been, been caught up. I made sh- like oh, you caught up for focused, the season. I was literally dedicated like, to it. Dedicated to watching every episode. From season one, uh, like sixty hours, way, seventy yes, hours. I wasted my time. Seventy <laughs> hours on my bed with a bottle of wine, watching this shit. Like barely even showered. And I'm, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell my truth. Tell I didn't shower tell because I really didn't want to miss a minute. Of even though I was show. on the bed, you could have paused. It. Even though I could have paused it. <laughs> even though I was on the bed, you could have paused it. I could have paused it. I could have paused it. But I said, I no, like your dedication, though. I'm dedicated to going full throttle. Yeah, I got into you. This. I got you. You could have paused it, though. But okay. But you know, um, I was a little. I mean, this the, the past couple of episodes have been really intense, building up into this last episode. But yes, Game of Thrones. If you're not into it. If you like war stuff, I think it's it's okay to watch. I mean, it, it, granted, it's got a lot of incest. Don't they be raping people and incest it's, and it's, shit? It's a lot of incest. It's very rapey, um, very gory. I mean, they cut people's yeah. heads off like they shake hands. Yeah, it's I can, like, I, you know, I get into a lot of stuff. Games, Game of Thrones. My mom really likes it. I love it like I was yeah trying, everyone i know actually watches that show i was just I like was, eh. i was trying to get my boo to watch it but he was just like this shit is stupid like what what she know, killed I, the night king aria that episode i believe it was season three like i'm from i'll be dealing with that devil stuff <laughs> <laughs> you don't have experience in my house no ma'am no episode three house. of season eight was probably the best episode in the entire season because the way they built it up the night king was coming the dead people were coming and aria which was the youngest um of the the clan the heroes i guess you can say um she came in there and she boom killed the night king and and what it's, it makes it even funnier is black twitter black twitter i follow a lot of people who follow the show black twitter makes watching this show so wonderful because it's just like it's just i don't know the commentary is just it just is like the highlight to my day like after i watch the episode i'll go on black twitter and i'll read everything and you know now i get the jokes now i get the jokes the the cersei the, the sansas the Jon Snow. I meet it all those. I meet it all those names. I'm I'm here for it. Like all those jokes, I get it now. And um, so that's what's cool in the city. Um, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Last season, one episode. This Sunday. This is this Sunday. Is it going to be one hour for this episode, or they gave y'all two? I think it's going to be an hour. Um, and then they only did. They didn't even do a really good job of because usually. Um, after each episode, they'll give you a preview of the next episode. They was like no. Basically, it was just stills of certain things. But this last episode, that bitch burnt that guy. She said, fuck them kids. So are they fighting to win the country or something? So the whole premise of the Game of Thrones is it's seven kingdoms within this one conglomerate, right? Mm -hmm. And it's seven kingdoms. And there is an iron throne Mm -hmm. that each person is trying to manipulate each like they're invading other people to get to this to, to, to own claim, all seven to claim all seven. So we have the the mother of dragons, and at first I was team her. Like I was Is that team Cersei? Daener- Daenerys. Okay, Daenerys. I was team her because I liked her energy. You know, 
<laughs> bitch, I'm not taking it seriously. Okay. I liked her energy. Mm-hmm. She came in. You strong. felt one. You felt one with her. I the felt first like episode, she, you connected. She was like, "Wow!" I was like, "Wow!" She's I see a myself in her. Woman. I see um, myself in she her. She burnt these niggas up for fucking with her. You know, she uh, she did what she had to do to get where she needed to be, and I respect that. Mm-hmm. She was with the Dorthrak or Dorthraki. She got everybody to be behind mm-hmm. her. You know, she had this 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 white wig. It just kills me. But nonetheless, I was really I was rooting for her, and it wasn't until her her uh, I don't want to say her handmaid or the, the in black Twitter says the people the girl that did her hair, but her girl that we you know her ride or die you know she got her head cut off. That's when the bitch went crazy. So you know um, she went. And she presented herself to the the queen of the seven kingdoms that mm-hmm. she was actually sitting on a throne. And, you know, she was like, yo, what's up? I'm here. I got my army with me. Let my girl go. Or I got my dragon. They killed her dragon. The Night King killed her dragon. She's pissed. She's pissed. Why they killed a girl who was doing her box braids? Yes. And they, they killed kill her ride. And, and they killed her ride, bitch. <laughs> what? <Wow. laughs> She had it. three dragons, right? Wow. She had three dragons. Those are her. These are her children. Like she's the mother of dragons. Like the dog, like a Yorkie. They kill like, her Yorkie they, and the girl that did her box braids. Bitch. Bitch, y'all got me trying. Don't kill my and hair, then, And then the, the the girl that was doing her hair, she's black woman. She's black. Wow. The her kid, hair was like this. Wow, the kid girl who did the crochet? Yes. Wow. So. No respect. Uh, no respect. The bundle bitch? Bundle bitch. Wow, they kill the girls they who do the kid, bundles. Kid, listen. Wow. So, you know. It was you got to take these, down the kingdom. You, she said, Dracaris. Dracaris means like they motherfucking ass up. Dracaris? Oh, I thought that was a black man. I was like. <laughs> 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 ain't that what? No, no. I hope not. I hope nobody names their children Dracaris. No, the boy from um Girlfriends. Maya son. What's his name? Dracaris? No, Jakaris. Jac- no, I hope his name is not Jakaris. I swear. Oh, Jabari. Jabari. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Close enough. No, but the 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 code word when she wants to light people on fire is Jakaris. Girl, so, that's not like a nigga name. I'm turned so, on. Go ahead. So the black girl, she was you know she got caught up by the queen or whatever. So they had her on the edge. And, you know, she was like, you need to surrender. And the other queen was like, nah, you need to surrender. But she was like, the head 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 So the queen was like, you have, uh, she was like, any last words you want to say? And Did so she go out like a bad bitch? She said, Dracaris, meaning light this motherfucking city up, bitch. Die. Light it up. Die like and a then, legend. And like, the, the, it's just everything, like, the music, the scoring of So the, they cut her, she said, Jakaris, they cut her head. They cut her head. And then niggas. And then, and then, the, and the, the mother of dragons, you could just see it in her face, she was turning crazy. Like, A real she, dragon? Yes. Like, she was, like, just, like, and that was, like, the end of that last episode. And so this past episode, that bitch like lit that city on fire. She ain't give a fuck. Kids, mamas, they rang the bell for peace. They said we said we we peaceful. We give up. <laughs> they give up. Like that bell, that bell started. That battle gave the white flag. I remember that, that, that song. That bell started ringing. They threw in the white flag. That bitch said, "Fuck them kids." Everybody getting it. And she lit that city on fire. I love a, so, I um, love a legend. You know, I'm just like, damn. I don't want her to win because she's not good for the Seven Kingdoms. Because it's more about a power trip. I think Jon Snow should should take the rank. Jon Snow done slept with his aunt, which is the Dragon Queen. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot of incestuous things. It's a lot of... You lost me there, but I was there. I was there, Jamari. Jamari! Light this bitch up. But yes, there's a, there's a lot of incestuous things going on. But nonetheless, Ooh, that regret killing her. Nonetheless, I'm very excited about this last episode, um, and I will be canceling my HBO. 
Immediately. Immediately. I'm sure the episode. Immediately. Well, you gotta watch it once. Once again, you gotta watch the repeat. I'm gonna watch the repeat. Watch everything again. Watch the repeat. Then the shit gotta go. Shit gotta go. Yes, I can't take another hit. Yeah. Check it out. Once the shit in, anyway, somebody gonna get Netflix. Somebody gonna pick it up. YouTube. Something. Yeah. So I'm not gonna take another hit, but I'm glad. So what you got? 14 that? When? I got another week. Okay. I got one more week. And then so uh, and then I'm canceling, but uh, nonetheless, Game of Thrones, wow, has my attention. The episode with when Arya killed that Night King, best episode of the entire fucking eight years of that fucking show. Like I was on the edge. I I mean the from the music, I was I was I was I had anxiety because these fucking zombies kept coming it's like every person that died turned into a zombie and then it was just like zombie after zombie after zombie it don't matter if you kill it it'll rise back up these people just killing and they look like they tired it was just everything and then here comes little aria and she said boom killed that motherfucker and i felt like my neighbors heard me screaming <laughs> i was like ah! That was great. That was a great fucking episode. That was a great episode. Then when Arya killed that Night King, that was that was it. And Brown was sitting in that that wheelchair. <laughs> he knew his sister was coming. You have to watch it. At least watch season eight. Mm. I'll give you my passcode. I, got, I, I actually my, have HBO. At least watch season eight. <laughs> At least watch season I, uh, eight. Uh, watch it before I cancel it. Uh, I'm offering. I'm offering uh, okay. it to you. I, I, have it. H- I actually have HBO. I I'm just never. It to you I never I got into it because that you know, episode three is probably demons and stuff. I can't. Mm-mm. But the Night King was killed. Arya got him. Uh, no. Arya start game. You know, six, I just, but you know, I really, you know, I watch a lot of TV, but I'm very. I don't like. It's just stuff I don't like. But apparently, my mom... I have a lot of people that do watch that mm-hmm. show. I just never got into it. So, somebody was like, well, just wait till the whole show ends mm-hmm. and then binge watch mm-hmm. everything. So, I, I thought about that. Like, just wait until the season finale. Because I'm, I'm one of the people I don't... You know how sometimes people get mad because you tell them? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't care about spoiler alerts. I right, still watch right, right, it. Like, right, spoiler, right, right, right. spoiler alerts do nothing for me in a yeah. movie. I'm like, oh, yeah. who died? Oh, that's right. crazy. Play. And then right. I still be shocked. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah. maybe... When it's all said and done, because they have been trying to promote it on my HBO, and you know, maybe, maybe. And I'm not one of those people that like like hella popular shows. I like to wait till the end, till everybody's done watching it. But I got caught up, and so you got one more one more episode on Sunday. One more episode on Sunday, and um, it's a thing. I'm 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 nervous. <laughs> I'm I'm ready to see what Arya is gonna do because I mean she's like a fucking roach you can't kill her you cannot kill this little girl they gonna take and that I bitch love out it. the last second I love it I love it they asked her what do you say to the god of death she said not today I mm-hmm. felt that shit yeah I felt that shit in my spirit what do you say to the god of death not today she said not today come on and that's she the word say, she doesn't mm, say people. word so she got back I mean it it was just I mean it's the way they shoot it. And that's because, like, I've been studying, like, um, cinematography and how people shoot things. Just the way they shoot it and, like, the music that goes with it. It's just, it's just a perfect show. Absolutely remarkable. So, cheers to Game of Thrones. Clank, clank to Game of Thrones. Well, this week, my Woman Crush Wednesday goes to a legend. She's from a legendary family. Janet. No, she she did. Janet, you're always my woman crush. Latoya. L- Legend Toya. I was actually I was just in Legend Toya comments because you know she was out with her friends. Mm-hmm. And so I was Kathy like and, and Brenda. You see, you I see it. You see my sis? It. My sis is you see my sis turn up? You see you my sis? Kathy? I'm sorry with yeah, Kathy and, she, and Brenda. She, she like my comments. Latoya be waiting for me. Cause Latoya be like, you know, I'm gonna say something about Legend Toya. Legend Toya likes my comments back to back. So it's like she does. She gets she gets off the grid for like two days, but then I get like a whole bunch of likes. I'm like, wow. Legend Toya really waits she sees for me. me. Yeah, she wow. She sees you. She oh my God. A legend sees me. Cause Legend Toya be there with her sparkly jacket and her high boots ready to fucking party. 
And she was, she was. I mean, she had Catherine on there all day on Sunday. Listen, and then she hung out with Kath, uh, Kathy and Brenda. and Brenda, and then she was with Diane Warren. Mm-hmm. Anybody who needs to know who Diane Warren is, Google her. She is literally probably she's written every damn near top. No, I'm not even saying top ten. Probably number one ballad in the '90s. Diane Warren probably wrote that shit. Mm-hmm. She was with her. Mm-hmm. The other, she's mm-hmm. like, look at me and Diane Warren. I'm like, wow, legend. And okay. I was like, two legends. Look at two legends. We saw that. Yeah, I do. I do be in my, my good sis comments because she was turning up. She was at a. She was. She was at some party. Yeah, and it was it was a lot of sparkles because you know she yes, be wearing yes, that belt yes. with a sparkle <laughs> and her jacket be a sparkle <laughs> and her boots be bedazzled. <laughs> wow, y'all ain't gonna talk about that legend. That legend come right way into stunts. Okay, but no. Not that legendary family. That is a legendary family, though. But another legendary fam- family of comedy, the Wayans. Mm. My woman crush Wednesday goes to Kim Wayans. Kim Wayans is from, of course, the Wayans family. She's uh, It's 10 kids. Five of them actually are in the front of comedy. And then five actually still work in the background. Um, it's Keenan, Damon, Marlon, Sean, and Kim. Mm-hmm. Kim is my woman crush on Wednesday because I feel like y'all don't give Kim the respect she deserves. Mm-hmm. Kim literally has been out here giving y'all jokes just like her brothers, touring just like her brothers. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually had some of the best characters uh, on, on Living um, in Living Color. Mm-hmm. She was... Uh, uh, Miss Jenkins. She definitely was Miss Jenkins. Benita... Benita... Benita, 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 Benita Battelle. Benita. Uh, yeah, Where she said, I ain't the one to gossip, gossip, but you ain't here, here for me. me. And then, but she always like in the mix of the shit. Yeah. Um. She also was um Reese and and sleep uh, Cephas <laughs> and Reese, which was David Allen Greer mm-hmm. and her like mm-hmm. their mm-hmm. their their duo of a music group. Like a BB and CC. <laughs> yes, definitely was. Mm-hmm. Her. <laughs> but mm-hmm. they was <laughs> that mm-hmm. Christmas one. Oh my God, they were so annoying on that Christmas win. Uh-huh. Um, she did impressions of everybody, literally. Latoya Jack, mm-hmm. legend Toya Whitney. Jackson. The one Whitney. that you posted with Whitney Listen, Houston. Get your the babies body. tonight. Get yeah. your babies tonight to Bobby. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I left up that shit for like an hour. I watched that shit like for like an hour. That's rolling. Um, she did Crystal Waters. Um, mm-hmm. what's, the, what's Crystal Waters song? Oh my God, I it's so... What do the chorus? Oh. oh shit, Crystal Waters. Oh shit, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it because no, you know it. Wait, right. I'm, I'm gonna get. It. I'm gonna play it. I want your it. No, you I sing it. You it's sing. It. I think you might be singing the other one. Uh, 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 uh. Are you singing? A, which one you no, sing? Didn't she? Didn't she do la 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 <laughs> it is that. Yeah, that yeah, 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 that one. What? Nah, 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 but it was about a homeless woman? <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 yeah, she did that. But then, 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 Kim like butchered that shit. It was like the Flintstones and ya ba da ba do da yeah. ba dee. Like, yeah, yeah, that. Uh-huh. I remember that. Yeah, and it like the funny part about the Wayans is uh Kim did Oprah, but then the Wayans end up on Oprah. The five it was all five of them. They end up on Oprah. Oprah brought up when they were on when they uh-huh. did Oprah, and she was just like, My bad girl. And it was just like funny because like the way the way Living Color was working then is how SNL worked. Mm-hmm. If you got on SNL, that means you were super popular mm-hmm. and you were making like a dent in the culture. Right. For in Living Color, if you got on there, you were making like a dent they in black are. culture right. in a sense. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And she was on In the House for three seasons. If anybody remember and In the House, was. that was Ella L- Cool J, L- cool J mm-hmm. uh, Alfonso Ribeiro, uh-huh. and... Uh, Somebody check on Maya, Mia, Maya Campbell. I was saying her name. Mia Maya, Campbell. Mia Campbell, check on her. Is she still out, out there? I don't think. I think she got better. I hope she did. I think. I'm she's not such. She was such a pretty girl in the nineties. Um, but they all had that um physical therapy office. She also was in, um, Pariah. A lot of people didn't see Pariah. It was like an NZ movie. It was a coming of age of a black girl who was trying to figure out her sexuality. She mm. knew she was gay, but she was trying to figure out. 
where does she fit in on the spectrum of being gay? Because she was like hanging out with some like hardcore like dykes that was wearing strap-ons to the club. And mm. she was like, I don't want to wear those strap-ons to the club. But Kim Wayans was her mom. So when she kind of came out, her dad was actually cool. It was Kim Wayans who was like, what the F? So to see Kim Wayans in a dramatic role was like, damn, we really missing out on somebody who's super creative on all fronts. Mm -hmm. So, and then she's just, she's super funny. She might be in the top two or three of the funniest of the five of them who's actually out. Cause I don't put, uh, Sean's like, Sean's number five for me. Um, I like Damon. I like, Keenan will go number one for me always cause he created the dynasty. So off just rip for me because they, they, they would be no them if there was mm -hmm. a Keenan. He's one. And then I'll probably give Damon my second. And then I think I might actually give Kim my third and then Marlon right. my fourth. Mm -hmm. Only because I think Marlon's funny, but I think Marlon goes too far. Like, Marlon's mm. comedy to me is like super duper 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 extra, mm -hmm. which is fine when I'm watching, you know, Don't Be a Menace in South right. Central. But when it's just like regular be funny right here, I think Kim might be funnier. Just mm -hmm. be funny right here. She can be funny yeah. staying still. So, shout out to Kim Wayans. Shout out to the Wayans family. Um, a Hollywood family that don't bother nobody. Not um, at all. They stay putting each other on. That whole second generation, if you ever watch any of their shows, like the Wayans Brothers, mm -hmm. My Wife and My Kids, Marlon just had a show mm -hmm. on NBC for two seasons. If you ever read the credits or you look in the background, you will find a Wayans. Wayans or like a Wayans in the background mm -hmm. or Wayans in the credits. Mm -hmm. So, um... Shout out to that family. They're super attractive. And Kim Wayans is still like the funniest part to me on um, A Low Down Dirty Shame. She's actually on the phone call with Jada when Jada's telling them how the story, the girl died, got hit by a big ass bus. And then you hear the lady on the phone like, oh, my God, that's Kim Wayans. And she ended up playing the store clerk who like, get out of here, bye, bitch. Because she, <laughs> she won like, turn your radio down, turn your radio down. What? <laughs> Girl, so shout out to Kim, shout out to that Wayans family. They provided very, they provided a lot. And shout out to Marlon because Marlon was trying to stand for Michael Jackson, made it clear. Like he put it on when Joe died. He was like, hey, that's a legendary family. My name is Marlon because of Marlon Jackson. You know, I amen, love, amen. I, I love when legends see legends. Amen, amen. So shout out to that. But so we've been gone for a minute. So it's like a whole bunch of shit we missed. I don't have all of it because. It, that would have been a lot. But the main thing for me was, rest in peace, John Singleton. Yes. I'm a little torn about that. Still a little sad about John Singleton. I grew up... Y'all niggas gotta start taking care of yourselves. That, that truth. But, like, I, I remember... Okay, so for me, the first time I seen John Singleton, of course it was Boys in the Hood, but y'all know Boy to Justice is my favorite movie, more so because Janet's in it, mm -hmm. or or in my top three. I think Boomerang might be my favorite movie, actually. But, um... <clears throat> John Singleton is, like, one of the people who's been in your life, mm -hmm. your whole life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, to know that he had the means to take care of himself and just... I don't want to say deliberately didn't, but kind of just was like, oh, I'll be all right. Mm -hmm. It's just sad because it, you didn't have, like, that's you sad. Have, like, you waited to the last minute. That's sad. You stroked out. No, you, you didn't wait till the last minute, nigga. You stroked out. Like, that's the thing. Like, what's... I hate when people act like they're scared to go to the doctor or like they, they, they don't want to go to the but doctor. But I feel like he knew because his family said he had been battling, what was the hypertension? Mm -hmm. His family. Well, for years though. Yeah, so I feel like he just didn't take care of himself mm -hmm. because that's very doable. Mm -hmm. Hypertension is very okay, something, uh, that's a change in diet, yes. that's yes. the yes. exercise, yeah. Yeah. And that's medication. That's, yeah. And honestly, if you change, change diet. if you change in diet and you exercise, eat. the medication ain't as prevalent. If you eat right, when you eat more vegetarian than anything, you can reverse a lot of the, the sicknesses and illnesses that yeah, are and, prevalent. And what I also got from John Singleton was um, have your paperwork in order. Mm -hmm. The fact that his so his mom his mom even, was his mom was actually like his his business manager. Mm -hmm. 
when I read that the will was left to one daughter, I assumed it was the daughter that was beefing with the mom. Right. Come no, to find out, it wasn't, wasn't even her. Mm-hmm. It was the first child, which was named Justice, because she had came right at the poetic Justice. Shout out to that name. Um, but his first daughter, Justice, is the one who's over his will because he never changed the will after having her. But nigga, you had six more kids. So it's like, do your paperwork, have your have your stuff in order. Because even though they said like cash wise it was like three point five million, but his worth was like thirty five million, mm-hmm. it's just gonna be a mess. And then to know that the daughter that was kind of being combative in the media yeah. wasn't even the one over the shit. <laughs> and then I thought maybe because you know he has a daughter, he has a daughter from he was married to Nettie from the color purple. Oh really? Yeah, they got a kid together. You know Nettie's like a princess in Africa for real. Oh wow! So they had the kid together. She's like a real life princess in Africa. They have a kid together. I thought it was maybe her child. It wasn't even her her daughter either. This daughter's name's like Cleopatra. Yeah. But so why would a princess's daughter? Be no, her? like I, I uh, yeah, but no, I just thought I just assumed. Yeah. You know, because it was just like oh Cleopatra, <laughs> Africa. You know, it made sense, bitch. It made sense, sis. Cleopatra, come at ya. Cleopatra, coming at ya. Cleopatra, coming at ya. Did they have any other songs I outside of that? So. They didn't I have them. Remember, so. they had them big box yes. braids too. Yes, and I used to love the shit out of that when that. Remember that song, Lay Lay. <laughs> Been thinking about you, babe. Who was that crew? I don't know. That was a lot of. I'm in the. And then I remember, um, all crying out. The big was in the woods. Bitch, and once love came in, over you. Come on. And once love. Come on. Girl, Allure was well. Yes. Even though they was in the woods. And it's a new morning. And there's a rain is falling. Hey, they were was, was stressed out driving oh, that. They was in that convertible driving to the cabin. Because there was some shit going down. I was like, yeah. Girl. Look at watch that video. Because hey, yo. I would have been so wrong. Could it be so wrong? Don't you know that tears will burn a pillow? Set this place on fire cause I'm tired of your lies. All I needed was a simple hello. But the traffic was so noisy. Come on, come yes. on, come on, yes. come on, 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 I saw your car there to her, you still family, and it don't seem fair. Oh, bitch, it don't, it don't seem fair. Or I know, I know what she said. Never, you like never, catch me staring. <laughs> never, <laughs> another love never, like you. Never, no, 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 no. I love you so much, babe. I love you. So and that was on the end of that bad talk. Oh God! What's your life? I was like, wow. Harmonize. Har- be they better harmonize. Because I'm still in love. That's what music was. Music, girl. That's what music was. Come up, girl. Cause she she went by mother's and saw your car there. That bitch just wanna go to her mama's house and that nigga whole that nigga whole escalate sitting there. That nigga whole three hundred right there. His that whole nigga charger. You know, and you know he had a three hundred. That nigga charger right there. You know he had a My good sister just wanna go eat some chicken and she gotta you look know, at a charger. You know he had a You know what? You know what? I'm on my shit. He had an escalate 
with five percent ten. That nigga, that nigga had his three hundred ten in her mama driveway. She, I'm pissed off. With fun. chrome rims. My nigga showed up in her awesome, but to see that three hundred, I, you know what? I'm pissed. I'm pissed the fuck off. I'm pissed. My bitch showed up in her Honda Accord to see that charger. She should have keyed it. I'm pissed. <laughs> she showed up in her Honda. <laughs> oh God, I felt that. I felt that. Mm. But yes. <clears throat> Back to John Singleton. Get y'all paperwork in order because the fact that his... This was a weird part to me. You had your will done when Justice was born. Okay, kudos. But that was boys... Five more kids. That was... And not even five more kids. That was boys in the hood and poetic justice. You, you at that point, did higher learning, Mm -hmm. baby boy, Mm -hmm. four brothers. Mm -hmm. His current show, Snowfall, is on TV right now. He directed a Fast and the Furious. It's like you didn't even think about those assets. So like not even a, the kids too. But then like you had so much more work at the Poetic Justice. That was literally Poetic Justice was just the beginning. Nigga shit. You know. So do y'all paperwork. Get y'all shit in order. Don't leave it to people to Call fight. Get a checkup. Get y'all checkups. Get, get y'all paperwork up. done. Stop waiting to the last John minute because you got the flu. And thinking that <clears> you just going. No. Niggas is dying. John Singleton, I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely miss you. You really gave me some of my favorite movies. I still need to understand why you decided to kill Deja in Higher Learning. I still don't understand why nobody asked you that. Um, I did beef with you a little bit, you know, because when you was on, he was on a, I, I did beef with him. He was on a Breakfast Club, and that's when he told the truth that he made up that story about Janet asking Tupac for an AIDS test. But my girl had took a lot of heat for that. So the fact that he like made that shit up was like weird to me. But neither here nor there. You going to see the king? Thank you for everything you um um contributed. I watched all your movies a thousand times. Baby boy a billion times. Boy, Justin a billion times. A billion times too. Is that? Is that? I want to see my son. God, Johnny, get away from me, please. Like, that was so, oh my God. Yvette and Jody were the most draining ass people. <laughs> I hate you too, nigga. And you know, and that's why I love Taraji. Like, I watched, um, Taraji originally started on, um, I mean, she was doing little cameos. If you ever watched Sister Sister, she has like two episodes on Sister Sister. But the funny part about Taraji is watching her on Baby Boy and like seeing her now uh-huh. and how quickly like she's evolved. She, she's evolved. Even though Cookie's not too far fetched for me that, but you know, mm-hmm. Empire is a really really big. Even still, Empire is a really really big show. Even though y'all keep trying to act like it's not, but it's a really really big show. So to see like how far she got a Golden Globe, a star, and just everything she did since playing yeah. like hood ready. Even <laughs> <laughs> let me spell your day. What she said. <laughs> but she pointed out like, I never understood why she pointed that tattoo out to uh to, to Peanut. Cause it's like, you know Peanut can get a tattoo too. Peanut can get a tattoo, sis. <laughs> and I always thought her and Jody Baby was funny looking. Uh, he was. <laughs> Peanut had the cuter baby. Yes, she did. She did. And the grandma knew it. Yeah, I meant a lot. The grandma knew it. Girl, I'm he hungry. Was- Fix a nigga something to eat. Jody was such trash. He was trash. He was, he so was a trash ass character. A he trash was ass so... man. Like, oh yeah, it's your size. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, put that on. You feel that? You feel that it's silk. <laughs> I'm ready to buy it. Forty dollars. <laughs> I'm ready to buy it. You I actually sold me. You sold me. Oh, yeah. It feels good on your skin, doesn't it? It's your bullshit ass nigga, man. And like, nigga, uh, you're, still, you're stealing clothes. You, you fucking you're booster. booster. You're a criminal. You're, you're a criminal. fucking criminal, Jody. No. God we should praise this shit. And you killed And you talk killed about, Snoop. Talk about I'm going to uh, take the rims off that car. <laughs> nigga, you shouldn't have put them on there in the first place. I saw my car. car. I saw my car, Jody. What's it, yeah. Baltimore? <laughs> Like no, it, it was, was a like, Honda. That, that was shoes in a champagne color one. Yeah, okay. that was a Honda. Oh, okay. that, it had to have been a Accord because it wasn't a Civic. Yeah, it was a Accord because like, Civics are smaller. Um, I saw my car, Jody. <laughs> just like everything, Jody, my Jody. He just a mama's boy. That's all. Girl, girl. And then the fact that like they tried to end that movie like very happily. It's like Jody's still cheating on that bitch. Y'all know that, right? Like they got engaged, but Jody ain't shit. Jody, little Jody, Jody. <laughs> baby Jody. boy is so stupid. 
Oh my god. Said, fuck your car. What did you say? Fuck your, your fort, fort, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna rape me in front of my son? <laughs> god, I hate you. I, I hate you too, too little nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that that nigga killed that whole ass nigga and just went to bed like oh my god baby boy is such a dumb movie I love it <laughs> no my and favorite part I was cracking the fuck up because she it was raining and her car broke girl down. I, thought she, she I thought she had the wall I thought she had the wall and she was trying to talk to Jody trying to that car and- the you engine broke the car need fixed man Look, that's not my problem and she went crying. She don't but love I, me no more. But I, didn't, but I didn't know she had the car waiting. So when I first watched it, I was rolling thinking she was going to walk all the way home. But then her friend was there. Oh, girl from Players Club. Yes. The bartender. Yes. The bartender from Players yes. Club was her yes. best friend. Yes. No, yeah. She said, she don't <laughs> love me no more. <laughs> nah, that girl really did cry hard. I was like, damn, man. That is fucked up. <laughs> That's not my problem. I would hate to be with a nigga Girl, like that, Girl, Johnny, nah, bitch, I kick your mama door. Right. <laughs> the fuck you talking to? <laughs> that ain't my problem. All right. We finna find the problem for you. Nigga, I'm carrying your son. Right, what this big ass six-year-old. This big ass six-year-old. <laughs> that nigga ain't no solid. That nigga's at elementary school. And I got to carry this nigga because it's raining. Now, Johnny ain't shit. Johnny could have held the umbrella and let them get in the car. Something. Johnny. You a bullshit ass nigga, man. Hey, they want to call uh, Peanut. Come in, let me get you a sample. You ain't got your other baby car, baby mama's car tonight? Listen. When you get her car, maybe I'll call you when I need some deck. I'm like, yes, yeah, Peanut's the winner. Peanut's the winner of this whole fucking movie. Peanut said, Peanut quit that nigga. Peanut knew that nigga want shit. Peanut didn't want that nigga the whole time Yvette was doing all that. She knew. Yvette walked home from, took the bus from work so this nigga can ride in that Hondo court. You got, you got the game fucked up. He said that when she with the Peanut and when she with the Kim house looking for him, she see you. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> so, <laughs> he see you trying to act like he's on thanks Kim oh my and then she God. said that nigga playing spades and shit man I would knock that whole table oh. over <laughs> that shit really and then she's trying to walk away yeah but she gonna push her chair back real hard nah nigga I would flip that whole table over on Jody ass fuck real, that real. bitch you see knock me all the, all the cards it's over it's over Over. what Joker at find your ace of spades <laughs> where your two of hearts on the ground. Where you jack? On the ground. Bitch, everywhere. Because I'd have flipped that whole picnic table the fuck off on Jody. Oh, you don't see me? Oh, Jody? bitch. Oh, we act you like don't we, see me? we don't see. You don't see but me? You Jody? See but you, you see, see them hoes. But you see them hoes? <laughs> oh, I would have flipped all that shit over on Jody. Bitch, Jody had the game fucked up. Staying at, staying at his homeboy house. Staying at, staying at his homeboy's girlfriend's mama's house. And you want to act like you don't see me? And I got a whole apartment with two bedrooms? Oh, bitch, Jody, I got you, bitch. That whole table would have been flipped the fuck over. Jesus. But you know, they ended up together, so God bless. <laughs> <laughs> they, worked they worked it out. out. <laughs> so who am I? Who maybe am I that, maybe <laughs> Yvette did it right. Maybe she knew something yeah, I Yeah, not flipping over the table got her her man. <laughs> Don't take my advice, because <laughs> the, the cards would have been a fine. Look, look, because she got her man back. Right. So Kim, Kim Mama would be like, Ebony can't come over here no more, because... <laughs> I don't mind cutting up in somebody oh, else. Shit. But God bless. John Singleton, you will really be missed. Um, I still really haven't got over Deja, though. Like, I really take Deja very seriously. My brother texted me. I really take Deja very seriously. So, um, I still need to know why you decided to kill her versus everybody else in higher learning. I'm still offended that nobody ever asked that question. Shout out to uh, Tyra Banks, who... Back in the day, they said she was dating him to finesse that role. I don't know if that's true. You know, a uh, funny story. Uh, you seen I, him together? No. This oh. guy uh, was a photographer, and he, he caught me off guard in H-E-B, and he said I should be a model. This is when I was, like, maybe 21. And so he gassed me up, right? Mm-hmm. And I'll never forget this. He goes, Tara Banks fucked John Singleton <clears throat> to get her role. So I heard that multiple times though, but you know they dated for a little minute too though. He <clears> said, <throat> "How you think Tyra Banks got where she, to where she is?" And then I just remember looking at him like, uh, no, "Well, John Singleton is John Singleton." And like, and, let's be and, clear, Tyra, and, Tyra, Tyra was Tyra then. Tyra had and, been on the runways for a minute. And and let's be clear, yeah. you're not John Singleton. <laughs> yeah, and Ty, John Singleton had boys in the hood in his bag, and Tyra Banks had fully been a model. And stuff. Yeah. So you know, because he was trying to, he was trying to get me to sleep with him 
in order even though I did I did honest. hear she did finesse herself into that role right I love you Deja right. just give me all all the day the bitch was I mean especially hey. you remember, it, you remember when she was on uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it produced fruit right she did what she had to do to get what she needed to do. But I don't know how true that is, but I did hear that. But I like to think it's true. And it, I like to think it's true, too, because if you ever watch Baby Boy and Jody's room, one wall is uh, Tupac, and Another then one. he has a poster of Tyra, like, in a swimsuit issue. Again. And I, I like to think that That's she's been Yeah, like, he was That's just like, homage. I see you, I, sis. I fuck that bitch. Yeah, I see yeah. you, sis. But again, I'm just saying, like, this nigga tried to make it seem like he was the John Singleton of yeah, no, photographers. No, 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 and no. I said, no, no, I haven't, I haven't, I don't, no. I remember. I haven't seen, I haven't seen your work. <laughs> I've, seen, I've, I've seen boys in the hood. That's what I said. Ricky died. I started telling him, boy. I've never seen, I've never heard of you. So I can't, I can't sleep with you. Oh, he a fuck ass nigga, man. I'm not comparing himself to John Singleton. Yeah, you cannot. But rest in peace, John Singleton. You have thoroughly entertained my childhood. You would never be forgotten in my personal house. I watch your movies all the time. And you got me Taraji. And shout out to Taraji. Empire's ending after the sixth season. It's time. It's been too long. Um... No, I don't think it's been too I think it's perfect. Six seasons is good. I think, yeah. I, you know, because people, people are like, nobody watches Empire and their ratings are down. But the thing is, Empire's ratings were so high, them going down just makes them even to the other shows. Because they're still, like, number one in their demographic. Mm-hmm. Because I, like, I Googled it because everybody made it seem like they had zero viewers. And then when I Googled it, it was like, no, they're doing good. Just not like... Well, they, yeah, but, you know, they were like on some other bullshit before. Like, mm-hmm. breaking records. So, I mean, it's time... I'm more so because people are like, because I know they can't. I didn't. I never watched. Did you watch Star? No. I never watched Lee Daniels Star. Time. No, it's on Fox. Oh. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know why I thought it was on Showtime. Star and um, Empire. They came. On, Empire came on first, and then Star. They both were Lee Daniels shows. I didn't. I didn't ever watch Star, but I know everybody was pissed about Star being canceled. I never. I got into Empire, and I never got into. Star. Oh, I mean, I never watched Star. Yeah, I never. I never watched Star. I got into Empire. I stayed with Empire the entire time, even when it got real like crazy. One of them. And one of them seasons, I was just like, "What the fuck, y'all doing?" Half of the season, I was like, "What are y'all doing?" But I mean, they had a really good run. I know a lot of people like about time, but I don't ever say that. I don't like when shows get canceled because I guess I be no like I think about like production and lighting mm-hmm. and. It's cameraman mm-hmm. and it's a lot of people it's just not these the stars these the athletes, five people yeah. losing a job it's like everybody that's everybody has to like move on but i'm happy they end up giving them a, they have a six season and then they're done so that gives everybody a chance to like kind of figure something out and i want them to wrap up like the cookie and lucius thing because i just want to see what happens yeah with that. and i think they should bring jamal back because the people who saying they won't watch the show if they bring him back don't watch the show anyway yeah. Because every time I see it, like I, online, I'll That's click. the Jesse Smollett character. Yeah. I would like click. I'll click like the person who says it. Like, don't bring such and such back. I'll click and it'll be like somebody who's like, nigga, you, not, I, yeah, I know you, you don't watch this show. <laughs> Anybody who watches this show would say, bring that nigga back and go on about y'all day. Yeah. But. No, I've never really got into that. Did you, um, were you into the Met Gala this year? You know, I saw a tweet. And I really, it re- really resonated with me uh, where it said that they should do the same thing at the natural or the Museum of African But you know who does something like that? Who? Tina Knowles. Tina Knowles Lawson. Hers is called... Um, I know it's more of like an art thing, but it's more... That's more like exclusive, exclusive. Yeah, I mean, that is exclusive, exclusive. But she does something like that. Um, wearable art. Yeah, but I'm thinking, like, when I saw that, when they said to have it at the Museum of African American History, I was like, yo, that would be so fucking dope. And then when I looked at the Met Gala, I'm like, man, I mean, I don't know. I'm just so not impressed with celebrities, and I just know it's all just a part of this thing to look superior, to feel superior, and all that other shit. I like I've liked 
the Met Gala. I don't like it now mm -hmm. that I realize that it's not as exclusive. I no. liked it back when it, when it was on page six before the internet. internet. Yeah. It was like page six. It was this thing that nobody can get into. You only see pictures on a red carpet. You're not going to see anything inside. I liked it then. Yeah. Um, I liked too it too overexposed. Yeah, I like when Anna Wintour was really like, no, you cannot come. And is that's there, bad on that. Reality, a, a reality star. You that's really come. when the Met Gala kind of went down. Oh, I don't want to say it the way it, to say no, it like I this. I agree. But I the agree. second they really let like, the Kim, Kim come, come. Is. it really was yeah. Kim because it was it was vocal that Kim couldn't come, mm -hmm. and then you double back and let Kim come. I don't care if she was Kanye date. You should have been like, oh, Kanye can't come if that's his date. You know what I mean? Like now, and that seemed like a bunch of YouTube stars randomly. So now it's not like fun and exclusive. It's, everything's more fun when I don't think I can get into it. Yeah, but if you have a a, a a friend of a friend at this point can get or into not it. even just that if you have a pretty solid social media following and and I, I say that knowing that uh, clearly this podcast is on social media and it is like what it is but when I watch award shows still to this day I like award shows where I don't see social media people if it makes sense mm -hmm. influencers I, yeah I don't like influencers yeah. I like to see like real people. I like the to real see, I like Angela Bassett. I like yeah. to see Lawrence Fishburne. I want to see Taraji. I I want to and I know it sounds weird because then at some point cuz like I know you can use social media to 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 move your yeah. platform. Like Issa Rae is a person who transitioned very well. Yeah, she did. Yeah, like I don't mind people like that, but then just regular people who really be on social media all day every day is not trying to Move up, thing, move left, thing, move right. Yeah. You know, it just be like kind of weird. I agree. But that's why I like BET Awards. Mm -hmm. It's not like it, like the BET Awards. Clearly, we watch them every year and we tweet and we talk. But I prefer if the NAACP Awards did more performances. I like their audience mm -hmm. better. And that's probably why I like this the Soul Train. Quality. Yeah, and I like the Soul Train audience as well. Because a lot of people ain't trying to show up to the Soul Train Awards because they think it's old. So then I get to see a lot of 90s mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. in those audiences. Mm -hmm. But like when you get to the BT Awards, it's, like, it's, a free for all. It's like going to it's, it's like going to third war. Yeah, and but then when you do that, you start icing out like that's why other celebrities don't be taking that shit seriously now either. Yeah, because it's not. And BT, like, never mind. BT. I mean, because they have that whole aspect of like social media influencer award. And it's just like, dog, they don't even be doing shit. Like, they don't be doing shit. I ain't gonna talk too much bad about y'all, BT, because I've been watching y'all lately uh, for games people play that Laura London new show. Um,. It's a, that's the type of TV mess I like. The acting's questionable. The plot, the plot's hella thick. But that's the type of TV I like. <laughs> and I'm not gonna talk too bad about y'all because y'all got Ladies Night with um, SWV and Salt mm -hmm. and Pepper, and I've been there. Even though Salt and Pepper, y'all tried Spinderella, neither here nor there. Um, yeah. Did you watch Being Mary Jane? I have not seen the new episode. Uh, I did watch. Uh, before our like previous season. Do you mind spoiler season. alerts? No, I don't mind spoiler okay, alerts. Okay, real quick. For my fans of being Mary Jane, I just need to get this off my soul. Um, I hated that finale. Because, uh -huh. you know, they, they, mm -hmm. they added Morris mm -hmm. Chestnut. Mm -hmm. And Morris Chestnut is Gabrielle Union's work husband. Yes. And, you know, break, they were in Breaking All the Rules. Who can play that game? Quintessential. Um, the Brothers. Um, what else? Oh, Think Like a Man. Mm. They were Oh, they was in that terrible Christmas movie mm -hmm. with Charlie Murphy. Oh, that Christmas movie was so bad. I watched it and I watch it every year, but it's terrible. It's like adding him was to add like a layer of bullshit. Because like at the by that time, her and the dude, her and Michael E. Lee, mm -hmm. I can't think of his name, mm -hmm. on the show had broken up. They break up on like a Monday. On Wednesday, she goes and gets the in vitro to get pregnant. He comes mm -hmm. back like my bad girl when get back together. She like, oh, I'm pregnant now. So that, no, true story. So he trying to fuck. She not trying to have sex because if you orgasm, I guess it messes up the implants. So she's sucking his dick, taking it up the ass and everything because she don't want to mess up her embryos. She ends up being pregnant and then she has to tell him, we broke up for two days, 
But I wanted to be pregnant. So after two right. days, right. 48 hours, I went and, got I, I went and, 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 and said, fuck it. And got my eggs. I didn't cry. I didn't listen to Tony Braxton. You know, I didn't drink a bottle of I wine. Just I just was like, out. I put my legs in the stirrups. It's like, boop. Egg me, sis. Egg me. <laughs> <laughs> in vitro me, sis. So, she throwing up. It, it was just like, very like reminiscent of a movie that her and Morris would have been in. Like, she's full pregnant by this time. Throwing up in a trash can. He's like, Mary Jane. And she's like, throw up. Oh, hello. Like, th- like you know, like a romantic yeah, comedy. Yeah. It was just very how it would be if they were in a movie together. And then he was just like, I don't care that you're pregnant. This is the first episode? This is the, they did, their season finale, their series finale was a two-hour movie. Oh. But you know, you remember their season premiere. I, I, I guess I kind of fell off of Mary Jane when, um, she she had that that semen or she froze the semen. But I understand she took Derek's David semen. That's okay. So that's it. the problem. So so <laughs> let's let's well, okay. That no because I actually understand that, was, that part. That that was kind of <clears throat> like I, I I really kind of teetered off into like no I, I still watch, watch it. it no I still watch it and very much like the dead. But like this series finale was like oh I'm pregnant. My boyfriend broke up with me. I got pregnant in two days. So I had some eggs in a freezer. And then more Chestnut sitting there like oh I still want to be with you. This is like huh? This is stupid. So he's like with her. She has the baby. He's like with her. But then Michael Ely character come back. So now it's like a... A trifecta of fucking... Mind you, we don't spend like four or five seasons with this bitch who can't keep a nigga. So all of a sudden you got these two niggas fighting over your pregnant ass who went and got in vitro off two days of a breakup and both these niggas know you got pregnant off two days of a breakup yeah. with in vitro. Like, it's, it's, you, but you couldn't keep a nigga all four other seasons. Like, what? So I can... And I can deal with all of this if everybody just would have left her... And she just would have had to deal with being like a single mom by herself. But you got more Chestnut, Google, and Gaga with the baby. You got Michael Ely who said, I'm not going to raise no kid. That ain't my kid. Google and Gaga with the baby at this point. You got both them niggas saying, will you marry me? It was just really weird oh, based wow. on how difficult her, her entire yeah. her, life yeah. had been from yeah. what we've seen. Yeah. And especially because I thought with the show the most important thing to her was to be pregnant mm-hmm. I would prefer and me and my friend Chrissy had came up with a season finale for them, a series finale for them we would have preferred that she just was a single parent mm-hmm. and then randomly a year later she in a park yeah. with her one year old mm-hmm. and then and the guy David yeah. but the guy David because to me through that whole entire show David was like the string for a few seasons like mm-hmm. no matter what happened mm-hmm. she always went back mm-hmm. to David or whatever so, like, I would have liked to see David show up. Now, his kid, because he ended up, like, having, like, a kid with a model. Mm-hmm. So, his kid would be, like, three or four now. Mm-hmm. I would like to. I would like for him to show up in the park with his, like, four-year-old. And she has her one-year-old. And she has her one-year-old. Yeah. And he's like, I'm the, me and old girling together. I'm a single dad. And she's like, I'm a single mom. And then Let's they get to. Because they had, like, been together for all them years. Their yeah. families knew each other. They grew up in the same neighborhood. And, like. Pregnancy was a common theme. Mm-hmm. She, Mary Jane, Pauletta left a whole nigga because he didn't want to have no kids. Right. She stole David's sperm mm-hmm. because she wanted kids. Mm-hmm. She told David, because when David found out she stole You're the sperm, yep. he was like, when well, if you want a baby, you could just ask me. She literally went to, to she she called him up and was like, I want a baby. That nigga was like, all right, cool, let's run dog. And was like, <laughs> I'm about to give you a baby, sis. <laughs> Baby me sis. Baby me sis. <laughs> so like it was like really weird for it that I don't know. It just felt like they like layered like I liked everybody else's storyline. I mean, Nisi's was a little questionable, but I liked everybody else's storyline. But it just seemed really like hardcore on she got these two niggas trying to holler. And it's just like Mary Jane had never been short of a nigga. Ever. She could not keep a nigga. So now all of a sudden, niggas like she she's healed. She's she healed. healed. She's no longer writing post its on her. Yeah, she's healed. <laughs> she's no longer pulling post its. Yeah, no, she she's healed. Mm. Thank you, television. This is great. But shout out to being Mary Jane. 
once again, how I feel, I feel about Mary Jane the way I feel about Empire. I watched you from the beginning to the end. I like to see my good folks working. You know, yes. Gabrielle Union, Gabrielle Monique Union, Wade has her real baby in real life. I'm Kavia. Very, Kavia hates them. She does. Kavia so she cannot stand them. them. She mugs them. Kavia cannot stand. She's like, why the fuck did y'all bring me here? No, Kavia's like, why are y'all my parents? And they, like, <laughs> <laughs> they be like trying to dance in front of her. She's like, oh, these niggas again. She's I'm sick of it. She's like, can I just get my bottle? I just, <laughs> I just want my bottle. And it's like, hey, baby, hey. Oh, my gosh, she's back. Don't you have something to shoot? Like, Kavya be looking at Gabrielle like, shouldn't you go to work? You have nothing to shoot. You're doing nothing today. And Kavya's pissed off that Dwayne is, like, fucking retired. Like, she was just at the... Oh. So this is going to be home every day. Uh, is that what you're telling me? Uh, Kavya shit. hates them niggas. <laughs> Kavya really do hate them niggas. I'm like, wow. She never smiles. I never they met a baby go- that really is upset about being back. No, I'm just saying, like, she looks like she's like, this is what I reincarnated to. Yeah, to, these niggas. The yeah, right. <laughs> and because them niggas stay, like, dressing up and dancing in the front of her, and she's just like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I just want to breakfast. I just, can you hand me my bottle? Here you go. Oh, my God. Just hand me the fucking bottle, bitch. That's how Kanye looks at them. Like, she cussing their ass out. It was like, yeah, happy Mother's Day. You made me a mother. Oh, my God. I regret the moment. <laughs> <laughs> like Kavya, they wanted you here so bad. Be appreciative, sis. Kavya hates the niggas. Oh, I've never seen a baby shit. hate somebody so much. <laughs> Except Cairo. Tia Moore baby didn't like being here either, but she she she, fin- she, she came around. She, yeah. she came around. Yeah. Even though she looks just like Taj. But she came That's around. That's hysterical. Because I think this. Because I was thinking that the no. other day. Like this baby looks like she mugs. They had that she baby on a boat. No, they had that baby on a boat. Baby doesn't smile. That this baby, baby was, mugs. That baby was on every a boat. picture. And then I went into this. Apparently, it's a thing now. Babies have Instagrams. Um, Kavi has a whole page. A part like like roll her eyes at her beard. And then she'd be mad because they say put the camera on her face. It's like, look at her. She's like, oh, my God. Oh, when it's nap time, I'm sleepy. Let me just go to sleep. I just want a bottle. Girl, no. She's so mad the way I retired. She's just like, this nigga going to be home all the time. Wow. Do you not have a job? And then, like, Gabrielle got the, like, the baby and me line and shit. And she, like, modeling, like, oh. Yes, I have on a one like, <laughs> She's like, <laughs> yeah. She's like, yes. One Z can't even stand no straight. Yes, yes, I have on a onesie. Yes, it matches my mama. Yes, she being yes, extra. Yes. Oh, oh my God! Change my clothes already. Oh, that guy really hates me. I've never met a baby that hates something. Shit. I, I want my baby to be upset about being back. That is hysterical. I want my baby to be that upset because that that baby's upset. That baby's like out of all the fucking families. <laughs> this family. Wow. Oh, and then they be playing music for her too. We try to introduce her to old school. Kavi's like, oh my God, I was here in the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here before. I was like, I know the 70s. I, I know was this. at Studio 54. This is Ronald Isley. I get yeah, it. I get it. I get it. Oh, that poor baby. But anywho, so. This week, we ain't got no real show for y'all. I mean, we do, but we don't. This week, <laughs> we're recovering from our break. Season two, y'all. Apparently, it's the season two. So, how was your break? I, I really have not a no, in like, what, has it been not. a month? Three weeks? Three and a half? You know, we, sometimes breaks are necessary. Y'all, I had to go to therapy. Oof. Like, breaks are necessary. Things are, you know, sometimes we just have to kind of, like, well, it just, well, I needed a break. I, I mean, I needed a break. Let me tell y'all. So I, I felt that you did. No, I did. Let me tell y'all. So for like two weeks before the, well, three weeks before the break, I went to my friend. <laughs> funny, but not funny. And I was like, I'm all right. And she was like, what? I'm like, I don't know. I just feel super angry. And she la- like, you got to let this be a lesson. Learn who you talk to. So she was like, I mean, I understand, you know, People are annoying. I'm like, no, I'm like annoyed with people being themselves. Mm. And on a normal Mm. day, I could care less. Like it's not Mm -hmm. people being who they are Mm -hmm. on a normal day Mm -hmm. is them being who they are Mm -hmm. and me being who I am. Mm -hmm. Right now, 
people being their normal selves is making me want to punch them in their fucking face. Mm. And I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm, I'm like ready to slap people. It's so like, you'll be fine. I'm like, all right. So another week goes by. <clears throat> I tell another friend, I'm like, <laughs> I told my friend, and I always laugh at her because one day she got mad and she threw her cell phone against the wall. And she calls me, she's like, I threw my cell phone against the wall. I'm like, you're such a psycho. And so I was like, basically calling her crazy because she broke her yeah. cell phone. But I mean, I get it because she was, she was like, it was a lot going on, and that was like the first thing she could release of stress. The her, stress. Her, they be the yeah, energy. Yeah, the energy is yeah, boiling. Yeah. So I called her, and I'm like, I'm losing it. And she was like, What you mean you losing it? I'm like, No. I'm annoyed by everyone. And so I go, Who's everyone? I'm like, Everyone. It's like mm-hmm. two or three people I'm not annoyed by at this mm-hmm. point. Everybody fucking breathing and talking to me. Or, or, or they're like one statement mm-hmm. or one move from me literally jumping on them. Mm-hmm. I was like, and not in a fun way. Mm-hmm. And so she was like, all right. I'm like, just pre-warning. So like, you know when people be talking to you? Like you ever watch a movie and it's like one person talking, but they're muted, but you hear the thoughts of the person that's listening? Mm-hmm. I felt like that. <laughs> so people are talking to me and I don't hear them. I know they're talking, but I'm in my okay, head wah, like, wah, 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 and not wah, even that. Wah, it's just like I'm just, they're just talking. It's just, I just see mouths moving in my head. I'm like, what would happen if I slapped the fuck out of them right now? Like, <laughs> Ebony, why are you thinking this? That's so crazy, Ebony. Ah, oh, I hate fucking people. This bitch is still talking. So what would happen? But this is me having a conversation within myself as somebody's talking to me. So I'm like, I, I remember, I was like, I'm like, like I'm losing it. It's just like, no, nah, you'll be alright. Like, no, I've been down that path before. Mm-hmm. It's not a fun path. And one thing I know about that path is alcohol is a very good thing, mm-hmm. or it can be. Let me mm-hmm. turn it can be a very great thing. One thing I also know about alcohol is it's a depressant. Yes. So, you're gambling if you feel a certain way and then you start drinking to it's an extent. Erupt. It can erupt. Mm-hmm. I'm a I'm an eruptor. Like, I, bad situations let me know I can erupt. So, it's like, now I'm on like this, this balance of should I go out? Should I not go out? I don't know if I should go out because I, I genuinely feel a way. Like, I'm not, because my friend was like, I was just with you. You're good. I'm like, no, that's not the problem. I am completely fine if I have to function. But you don't understand in my mind, as I'm, I'm functioning, to, I'm, I'm, I'm erupting. Yeah, I'm like, what happens if I knock this all this shit off the table? Yeah. Who gonna check me, boo? Like, I'm literally in my mind like that. So, um, <laughs> finally, I was just like, all right. I'm going to have to break from yeah. everything. Yeah. From damn near people. It really was for like people for a week. Yeah. Well, probably a week and a half. I was like, I'm going to need to break. And that's why, I, I mean, y'all think I'll be joking about therapy. Therapy, I believe in Jesus. I believe in uh, the whole nine. Yeah. I I know a lady who reads tarot cards and she be right. I believe in her. She's from Guyana. I'll holler at her too. I believe in all things that can get you back to a good path. And, um, yeah, I really was like in, in the therapist's office, like, well, what's going on? And I was like, I don't know. I'm just about to talk for this first session and then weed the shit out. And then tomorrow yeah. <laughs> we you can figure me. this out. Yeah. You can tell me what you think is the problem. Right. So I sat there the first day. I'm like, well, good sis, <laughs> let's lay it all down. And I just started like spewing out everything and, and none of it made sense. It wasn't in no particular order. Mm-hmm. And then the second day I went, I went back to, I went like a Wednesday and mm-hmm. then like a Friday. Good and then like you. she weeded out. No, I believe in that. No, no, I, I, I you believe know, in therapists. Honestly, the last episode, I, I believe felt, in therapists. I felt like your energy was, was terrible. Horrible. <laughs> yeah, it like, should have been. It was so off on how it normally is and how i am as a person and i knew that but i knew that going in i knew that going out i ended up deleting that episode because i I just we we can have that on the records i am a boo i am a true boo like i honestly feel like i am a, a reader of energy and your energy that night was so 
But that was the, the that was the, the climate. That was the that moment. Was, that, but it, but it, because but three you, weeks but, before that, I had been like really feeling crazy. I've been telling no, people I'm feeling crazy. No, but like, I'm feeling I, crazy. Honestly, honestly. And when I re listen to that episode, I'm just like, yo, something's up with her. Because I called I called my cousin, you know, she's very, you know, neutral in everything. And I called her and I said, yo, can you tell me if I'm tripping? But if you would have called me, I would have told you it wasn't tripping. If you looked at that episode, the thing was, I posted the episode, but I usually post episodes with hella notes. Yeah. And then I usually post episodes saying I'm posting episodes. Like you did, yeah. I just you did, posted you it, just posted it, and, and you went on about my fucking yeah. day because yeah. I, I noticed do, that too. The thing was, I felt a due diligence to the people who listen to the show, which I had to take. I had to take. I had to take yeah. this back to yeah. myself. Like yeah. I felt a need that too. for the people who were listening. Yeah. Like not on all y'all shit. If I don't want to post the show, I don't have to post yeah. the fucking show. I felt but that too. I posted it, and it wasn't until I think. I think I might have took it off like a week and a half ago because I was talking to somebody and I was like, well, I, things I want me and you to do. And I was just like, I can take that episode down. That's just not a good episode. Not it was really. Uh, it, it, was, it, it was, wasn't, it was, a, it was, it was it awkward. Yeah. It was, it wasn't that funny as I know we could be. Yeah. It was not the best it just, of what it we felt provide. Like, I felt like our vibe was, was off. off. Yeah. And it wasn't the best. I only not to say I only want the best because some episodes that are still up that are like questionable, questionable. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't that I wouldn't put you in a bad light yeah, and I wouldn't put myself in a bad no, light but that one particularly because when I went back and I listened to it but I didn't I, know, you did better than me because I couldn't I, even listen to it I got like I 10 minutes in no I literally went back to listen to it and I called my cousin and I was just like yo tell me if you think what you think of this episode because I feel like and and she was just like it just seems really dark she it said did. the energy around this seems really really it dark did. and then literally like two days later you like texted me and were like I need a break and yeah. I was just like yes you do <laughs> I think you do too yeah. no I need a break <laughs> yes because and that was the thing too because that was it because for the past three weeks before that episode yeah it was like me like i feel off y'all everybody's like yeah good. you're yeah. fine and i'm like no mm, normal things are bothering me mm -hmm. normal regular day things mm -hmm. are really taking over me in a way that i know could be combustible because i've been in that path before yeah so i don't i i, I can't go back to that and I was like, I don't know what I... Because the thing is about breaks in life. Mm -hmm. You can't break from your job. You got bills to pay. So I always tell people to break from the stuff that isn't going to affect your livelihood. Yeah. And really, your, fam your family not going to affect your livelihood. Your friends ain't going to affect your livelihood. Your hobbies ain't going to affect your li livelihood. The only thing you need to show up to is your goddamn job. Whatever helps you keep your lights on is what you actually have to Agreed. show up for. Yeah. And so everything that I did not have to show up for... You didn't. Needed to go away. Yeah. Because then the thing was, a part of me was like, I knew I shouldn't have did that show that night. But then I, um, I almost felt like I needed to because of the listeners. And then it dawned on me when I deleted the episode. Like, I don't owe y'all shit. Not like that, but like that. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. But no, but, but like I that. just honestly, I like that like, night. I needed I, it. Like le legit. But I knew I it because I that. felt I And felt the thing that. is, I'm aware I've always been very, since everything happened to me in college, especially like when I had to fight the court case yeah. and I was in like a dark tunnel and yeah. everybody's like, you're not the same. I'm like, I am the same. Like, I'm very aware when like. Because right now you're really Thunderstorms. Light. Yeah. Like, you're very light. Yeah. I understand when thunderstorms, I, like, I I feel thunderstorms. When, when you have, like when you are in whatever like negative space, it's almost it as if your face is dark. Yeah, it shows eyebrows lift. I'm not fine. Like, Jokes aren't fine. I'm a person who can... Like, right now... I, and I'm not bullshitting you. Like, legit... Like, seriously, your face looks hella light. Like, no, bright. but I, it, I either can light the room up or I can turn the room down. I've always... And I don't want to say in a cocky way, like, I always do my power. I've always known that I can either take... Bring yeah. energy or suck out energy. Yeah. A part of that is because, you know... 
my DNA, my daddy is like that too. <laughs> so I I know I have a I I've I've known I can be I can be my I can be everyone's best friend and my best friend, or I can be everybody's worst enemy. And ter- I can end a whole party if I really wanted to. And that's like not me bra- like that's not like yeah in a braggish way. Yeah. But I have been a person that's like oh. He tried me. Oh, now everyone in this room is going to have a bad night. Everybody I turn into a <laughs> I can be Mufasa yeah. or I can be Scar. Pick which bitch you want. But but then, like, when you get a certain age and you, you, you deal with that type of energy in life for a very long time, you realize that you don't want to do that to mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. And it's not... And that's why I was, when I was, like, begging... Three, three weeks prior, I was like, no, nah, I'm annoyed by people being them. And they're like, people are annoying. I'm like, no, people are annoying. But I'm annoyed with people I like, genuinely. Mm-hmm. So it's not them. It's not yeah. eight, nine people I know. Nigga, it's me. Yeah. And they tell, no, you're fine. You'll be okay. And I'm like, I think I need That's to why you got to counsel. You have to, you have to change your counsel on who and, you... And no, and but then I talked to, to yeah. two people, and it was only like one person that was laughing because the way I described it, I was like, they be so, people be talking, I just be looking like, hmm. yeah. What would happen if I like kick? What if, if I burn this whole place down? What happens? Like, <laughs> she was laughing, oh, but yeah. she was like, "Bitch, your ass is crazy." And I'm like, "Well, let me take my book as a therapy. I'm a fan. Of, I'm genuinely a That's fan good. of therapy." I so, felt I, you know, I, honestly, it, yeah, that I had to, night. I went home thinking like something is wrong with her, and not even and in not, like a and not um, like a like I just felt like your something was was bothering your spirit. Yeah, and I was just like, you you do, and like y'all be thinking I'm playing about therapy and church. I believe in the whole. Like I said, yeah, I believe no, in some sage, yeah, yeah, pray, yeah, go to the tarot card reader. Um, something like get therapy. But yeah, like but I like, could definitely. But tell. my thing was, I had been brewing for a minute, and yeah. I knew I was brewing. But I was just like, uh, maybe I should. Well, maybe. So wait. let me ask wait, you this: Wait, wait, wait. So like, in those moments, we always, I think, in in life, we always kind of go through those phases where we get to where we are stewing in our own shit. So what is your like solution what set it off well not oh, necessarily what? what set it off it's just like how do you how do you how do you handle that going forward now but like for me i had i had a terrible breaking point in college like mm-hmm. i had to fight a court case that was thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars i fought a felony mm-hmm. because i end up physically the way I felt inside end up being, even though they, the girls, and I will stand by this till this, I sit on this soapbox. They deserved it. But on a normal day, they wouldn't have got it the way I gave it. You know yeah. what I mean? So was because that, Was I, that a contributing factor to how you were feeling? What? what like, just that? Like, no, 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 no. Like, like you said, like, you had Like, I knew, I, but the thing is then, I didn't realize I was doing. hmm Because... This is the thing about bad days and um, being off. You're supposed to, you're gonna have an off day, mm-hmm. right? So Monday's off, and then sometimes because Monday's so so off, Tuesday's off. Tuesday till about three o'clock, and then you didn't realize it, but Wednesday was off too. Yeah. And now we're running into Thursday, yeah. and then Friday, and then Saturday, and then Sunday, and then Monday, and then instead of you're supposed to live happy, right? You're supposed to be happy, and then have periodic or sporadically be having like bad days sometimes if you don't watch yourself you go from happy and having a couple of bad days and then a bad week and then a bad month and then a bad six months and then a bad year and then you're living in a bad space having happy moments life shouldn't be a bad space and happy moments yeah, life should be, be happy, happy with, with bad because bad, bad, yeah. you can't it's certain things you ain't gonna be able to help you can't help death you can't help cancer you can't if, if you, you lose your job and ain't one your fault it's certain things that you can't mm-hmm. help so you're gonna have like these moments of bad days if you allow it, you don't even realize that you transition to happy to bad. Mm-hmm. And I didn't realize I had did that in college. Mm. But 
now going through those cycles a couple of times, you realize when you're slowly going from happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, sad, happy, sad, happy, joy, sad, 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 sad. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. what happened? Yeah. It's raining every day. Yeah. And so, but you have to be aware of yourself. Like I said, yep. I had been saying something for three weeks. I just wasn't saying it to everybody. I was saying it to like close friends. Right. Like, I feel really off. What you mean? And not, not and not all of them. It was like I said it to two people. One was like, "All right, so what do you need?" The other one was like, "Well, yeah, you know, such and such is aggravating." So I get you. <laughs> it's like yeah. that's no. I mean they they're not act. I mean they are, but they're not. Yeah. But you're not helping. <laughs> then I had one friend that was just like, "Okay, so what are we gonna do?" <laughs> And then finally, I was just sitting there. I was just like, um, I need to take a break and I need to go to therapy and I need to mm-hmm. come back because it's a lot of stuff. I turned 33. Mm-hmm. That was a lot for me. Not because I didn't want to turn 33, but, you know, sometimes you like wake up, you wonder if you're doing life right. Mm-hmm. I was also in the space of, damn, am I doing life right? Mm-hmm. Like, okay, this is cute. I genuinely love recovering party girls with all my heart genuinely love doing a show with you yeah so what what is this what is this what is this we just we just here telling my business for free sis i don't know i have to talk about my my pussy oozing chlamydia every week (laughs) or not even that it's just like okay so what do i need i don't want to bartend I, I know my birthday is coming up. That means we're damn near halfway through the year. My birthday is May 6th. That's the fifth month of the year. What the fuck am I doing right now? What, what, what's, what's happening? I'm turning... I, what, what, what? Is it time for me to have kids? I don't know what I'm doing right now. I mean, I mean that's just... I mean, that. I think that is... A, those are questions that everybody our age has. And it is, but then if you double that with the fact that I already felt away, yeah. it was a lot going on. Not necessarily the people around me. I have great, yeah. Yeah. fabulous people around me, but um, it was me. It was actually me literally against me. And that's when I was just like, all right, unplug. And it's okay. If people ain't yeah. gonna listen to this show because we disappeared for a few weeks, then bitch... Bye. Yeah. If y'all want to unfollow the page. Like when, <laughs> when you um, when you sent me that text message, I was just like, I feel like you needed it. Like, I was like, yeah, she needs this. She yeah. needs this. Because then needed. I had been going full throttle to yeah. a lot on different avenues in my life, mm-hmm. waiting for something to pan out. Mm-hmm. And it gets frustrating when stuff isn't panning, panning out, out the, yeah, way the way you expect it to. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you got a birthday coming up. And, you know, when your birthday come up, people start questioning what you're doing with your life. Like, girl, what you doing? I agree. And you're just like, I don't know. Especially when you come from a very successful mom and your brothers are doing really well. And not that I'm not doing well. They do well in a very... Um, Financial way? Or no, because like I know uh, I got coin. Um, not... I don't want to say financial because... I'm coined out as well, but in a very paperwork way. Resume I don't know how to, way. Resume way. Because then it's like, I decided to leave corporate America. I worked in corporate America for three years. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this shit ain't for me. So then it's like, well, you decided to leave mm-hmm. the office. No one forced you. So then it's like, all right, you're right. I left the office. So now what? Okay. Well... I support recovering party girls, but what really are you doing? It's like, all right, I get it. What really am I doing? <laughs> and then double that back with, I'm turning 33. Okay. These ain't the goals I had. Okay. Let me, like, I'm literally like dusting off, I'm dusting off my degrees. I was dusting off my degrees like three weeks ago. Like, well, think it's time for me to just go ahead and, you know, wear a high waisted skirt and a button up. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it was just it was a lot and it was a lot on me and not the people around me so mm-hmm. I apologize no, it was not you it was everyone around I, me I mean I I honestly like when I tell you 
your energy was really dark that episode but I was I terrible no and I was a terrible tyrant I that was, knew it and the thing is I know when I'm being a terrible tyrant but the funny part was like people tried to like come at me online and then they actually called you a pick me what the fuck is a pick me I have no idea what a pick me is Google <laughs> pick me what the fuck is a pick me like a pick I don't know pick me cause apparently they took that episode and decided to like what does I pick have no me idea. mean hold on what does pick me mean? According to the Urban Dictionary, a pick me is a person who begs for attention. Ah, oh, acceptance and approval of a certain group. So apparently, like they chose this episode to call you a pick me, and then it'd be like, well, you're the, you're you're actually the toxic one. I was like, I think I said I was toxic on that show, and so then it's like I had to end up just like you know what? Let me just. Take this whole thing down. And let's start anew. Because what the fuck we won't do, good listeners? <laughs> because, let's be fucking clear. Non-therapy, therapy, two days in therapy, one therapy, no therapy, all therapy. What the fuck we won't do? <laughs> disrespect me. You're not going to disrespect me. You want to say Adriana, because I politely said, like, pick me. I was like, delete. But I don't even know what that means, though. No, nah, I, I didn't even know what it meant at that moment. I, but just say, it felt, it felt, it felt, it felt. I felt I felt the t- the the, ah. the tweet. I was like, delete. I don't, I don't know. Move, what that move means. your ass. Move but, around, bitch. But you know, <laughs> move around, I'm, bitch. Before you see the other side. I'm glad that you took your break. I think everybody needs a break because sometimes we we tend to like like focus on things instead of just being a human and going through the process of life. Like like you're actively living your life, regardless of how you depicted or how you think that it should be or whatever you're an active participant in life and that to me is all that matters like I completely understand how you feel like I'm about to be 35 bitch you been 30s look listen bitch you been 30s listen listen, been 30s me sis like just how you were feeling at 33 I'm about to be 35 I have no children I'm I don't have a husband. All my friends are married. All my friends have children. Like, I think about this all the time. But at the at the same time, I have to remember that the life that I want is not, it's not like that. I have a very specific way of what I want for my life or how I want mm-hmm. my life to be. And it's not traditional. It's not, um, you know, not. I, I don't have a degree. I don't, you know, I'm one of those people that, like, I, I have a couple of hours in college. Um, so everything I have to, everything that I do is, like, hustling. So... But that's just the life that. But that's just the life that I chose. But you know, you can go back to school. For- yeah, but I can go back to school. But at the same time, is that really for me? Because every time I walk up, I actually up, think I, like. But you know what? You shouldn't. You know what you should do? Maybe you should go to a, like a tech school. I I thought about it because you then, can go. You can get straight to the core of what you want to do. I thought about it. So I thought about going to film school uh, because I know what I want to do. I love stories i love helping people create narratives i love to build narratives for people and i love to learn about different things just like with this documentary about gentrification in third ward i'm not fucking from third ward i have no idea about the culture about how it got to be how it is or whatever but the fact that i i've worked in third ward i've connected with people that are from and have businesses in third ward and what I see is almost just like okay well from a person that's from the outside I think that that is a great perspective to to tell a story about something that I it, it'll educate me as, as well as educate people that are just moving into the city to help understand what the fuck is this? What is gentrification? What is gen- I don't know what the fuck gentrification is. I mean, but you, like, but you don't need, and I say this often, like, black and sexy TV, um, 
Issa Rae had like three shows before she even had Insecure yeah, on YouTube. Just, yeah. You can put that shit on YouTube. Yeah, and, like, and, and that and that's what I again, but like even with my mother, my mother has yet to really fully acknowledge the shit that I do. She thinks that I'm just like a little photographer taking pictures, but no, like you know, because when I'm working with this lady that's running for district attorney. She comments, she's like, oh, my daughter's a photographer of this campaign. And I wanted to correct her and be like, no, mother, I'm the videographer. I'm a videographer. I do videos, not photography. But, (laughs) you know, it's just one of those things where it's just like, I can't, I I don't want to fight that. Like, at the end of the day, I know, I know my truth. And, like, I just feel like we shouldn't allow like how we grew up or like you know our family because my brothers i mean both my brothers graduated college they both they're prized possessions of the family listen listen no i'm but because i relate to you on more levels than you really think like um you know and i mean i didn't come from a uh i came from a middle class family or whatever but I, my, I'm a, I'm a creative. I've always been a creative. But see, I never, up. ever been a point in my life where I was like, yes, blue collar. I want to work for people. That is the life for me. What my brothers are doing, I don't think that I could do. But I struggle too because I didn't re- like. I didn't really like the word creative. Like I never thought of. I never. Yeah. I I still don't see myself as a creative. But you which are. Is, which is in a weird way. I still don't because I mean, I, like I said, I take the school thing. I mean, I'm the one trying to tell my little brother to get a master. Me and my older brother both have masters. Mm-hmm. Trying to tell my little brother to get a master's. I never really seen myself as a creative. So that struggling artist shit never looked cute to me. Never been fun to me. I was just like, what? Um, and y'all know how I feel about stability in a coin. <laughs> But maybe it is stability. Of, of, stability, me sis. But maybe it is a perspective that you have that maybe needs to be changed. But I try to change the narrative of it. So like, like, so me and my mama like kind of halfway got it. Well, kind of got into it. So, but when we got into it, or she got into it with me because she was the main one talking. Um. Like, then I went online. I was like, okay, well, let me find, like, social media jobs. Because I I run this social Mm -hmm, media mm -hmm. of Recovering Party Girls. And I actually have two clients that Mm -hmm. I run two other people's, two Mm -hmm. two companies' social medias on the side as well. So then it it became that. But then it was just like... That ain't it. I don't... I don't... I don't do that. I don't want to do that. I don't think that's it either. (laughs) But at the end of the but at the end of the day, like you have to find like I know you know what you want to do with your but life. how it but like I, I I put myself on a time schedule. People are like don't put yourself on a time schedule. No, I don't want to wake up thirty seven. But at the end confused. of the day, you can't. No, no, no. It's not that you're confused because at listen. I'm about to be fucking... I'm knocking nah, on 30... Ebony. Sis. I, Ebony. Sis. I am knocking on 35. Mm, sis. I'm knocking on 35. When's your birthday? September 3rd. Oh, you got some... But, no. But still, you got to for that birthday. But round it up. I'm 30 fucking five, right? At the end of the day, I cannot care about other people's timelines or uh, expectations. But the weird part is, it's not everybody's timeline. It's my right. timeline but it's, and it's, my it's, expectations. It's, it's, it's what you have allowed to penetrate your your thought process. It is social, what whatever that social influence that has in that has been around you to put in your brain at this time I need this at this age, at this time I, I just don't want to be broke but but what is broke <laughs> but if you you're but what is broke ebony I mean so uh, you have to but the, that's the thing like we have to define certain things like we like success is not defined by one 
Christmas oh no, I, I do believe that success but, is but it be, varies. But 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 I think what I put me, no, but I think what I put it's not it's not outside influences. It's what I put on like myself. But in why general. do you put it on yourself? Because I, that's my natural being, though my natural my my ebonyness wants that's, things. That's ego. That's not that's not your natural self. Your natural self no. is your no. Your natural self doesn't want things because your spirit. No, and, not things. Like I like stability, but I like like I had in my mind how I thought life should go anyway. Right. So not that I'm doing bad. Like I just and yeah. I, I'm I'm perfectly fine in my space and money's in my account, but. I don't see progression. I have a problem when I don't see things moving. And when I mean moving, I mean, yeah, we, this is a, this yeah. is going to be a new episode on the internet. On uh, season two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what has this new episode done for but, me lately? Like, it's like that. Like, I like to, I like to feel like. You see progression. And I guess I put a lot of emphasis on certain I had goals in my head that you probably didn't even know about for recovering party mm-hmm. girls. When we hit those goals it and happen. then nothing happened, I was just like, well, what the fuck? <laughs> but because those goals, if it, I mean, we have to look, really look at the beginning. This was a random ass podcast with zero. Me and you were our first followers and I made my mama follow. <laughs> <laughs> my mama was following but, but, three and but, then to get to where you get it you'd be like but, 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 but at the same time at the same time we have to celebrate the fact because you can't look at okay I did send you a t- I celebrate I, we, no, 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 for like no, a second no, I'm no, like oh this like, cute we have to we have to see like we can always focus on what we lack or what we don't have or what's not there or it's not, it but we never focus on wow hey we literally came up from X. I do but my I think my turn on to yay to <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> is really quick real quick <laughs> I'm, I'm quick with it yay oh my god girl Okay, but, so but now, to, but you next. also, but you, but you have to shift your focus to what we're actually doing, because we have people that are coming into our platform, right? And they're even though some of y'all did try to get real shady this past like week hey, or two, but no you, shade. It's it's even though y'all y'all trying to break up the group like you know me and Adriana, but okay, girl. But at the end of the day, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, matter. girl. All of that doesn't matter. But the people that um, send us their stories. That send us their th- that type I of do. stuff. And shout out, is, I'm gonna tell you what I almost kind of saved it. Not to cut you off, but uh, she came to the live show. I don't want to say her name on here. She had like that. Yes, yes. Okay, I know so who, she. I know you're about okay, mm-hmm. so she ends up moving out her parents' house. Mm-hmm. She has her own apartment, mm-hmm. and she started going to therapy. Mm-hmm. And she sent a message. She was like. I signed a lease. My parents were pissed. I'm mm-hmm. like, if you can afford to live on your own, mm-hmm. live on your own. Mm-hmm. And then she said she started going to therapy. She's like, because you talk about therapy a lot. I'm like, therapy's real. Mm-hmm. And she was just like, it's helped a lot. So and then it was that, that moment. That was like two weeks ago, it, a week and a half ago. I was just like, girl, that's, you saving, that you is, saving this show, girl. That Almost is, quick. But listen, but that's success. <laughs> that is success. But people define success it's, very it's, differently. It's, it's, no, people define success as monetary, as... Uh, financial gain but really if you can inspire somebody to be a better person to save themselves to to keep them from jumping off the ledge that is success like at the end of the day we're all fucking humans like we're human beings and we all go through these range of emotions that are super fucking toxic and then they're super fucking happy. They're back to toxic. We're back to happy. But where can we find a space where we can actually truly be ourselves in our dark moments and just be accepted for who we are at that time mm-hmm. without being judged, without being criticized, without being misunderstood, all of that shit. And to me, that is 
success because that's what I want. And it took me a while to change my perspective of what success is because in my mind, I'm thinking I have to have a degree. I have to have this. I may have to make $180,000 like my brother. I have to... I have to be able to travel six times a year. Like, no, that's not it. Mm. If I'm, but uh, but again, everybody defines it differently. No, I do. But I think, I think I think this show has done a lot for. Uh, it gave. I remember you said this is the most. What? How did you say it? Like you made it like a school schedule. Like, how did you say it that one time? Basically, I don't know. Say, I don't know. Basically, <laughs> you say like. This is like the the only thing you have showed up. Oh, oh yeah, no. This for is, the this is like the most no consistent. Bull- there we is, go. No bullshit. This is the most consistent thing that I have ever done in my adulthood. To where I'm not making excuses as to why I can't come to record or I can't come to I'm so happy I've invited that no I'm just I, that, and, <laughs> no but, but you I remember you said shit. but you said that like last year or but like that, but, but a while that ago but that is very true and when, it, whenever you say hey let's shoot today or you know even if we don't get around to shooting that day or we reschedule it I will always show up yeah no you I mean and you said and, that and that is and that is he was like, this is the most consistent <laughs> thing I've ever had. I was just like, no bullshit. You sure? I'm He's like, no. so serious. Nigga, like, you, you had a job. <laughs> no, but like, seriously, like, you got to think, like, I'm tired. I don't want to go. I don't want to leave my house. I don't want to do shit. But at the end of the day, I know that this is a release for me. It's a release for you. Mm -hmm. And it's also a release for other people to feel like they're not alone. So for me to just say, to be irresponsible and just say, fuck it, I don't want to record today. I've I've never, ever not said, I don't want to record today. We can switch the schedule. We'll we'll, 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 we'll switch switch the schedule schedule around. We'll schedule. I was going to call the break. I was like, bitch. And I and I and I and I I knew that that was coming. I felt that because the thing is, if if we did not have a break, we would not have had this show. Yeah, I I felt. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I I had no other way to say it. I mean, and I remember you kept you kept texting me, and I think I just stopped responding. He was like, "Do you know?" I was like, "No." And you said something else. I just stopped responding. I'm like, just. But I we're not going to have a show if I don't take a break. Like, and the break wasn't necessarily from. I, I, I could I could have yeah, yeah. I probably could have attempted to go to therapy and do do the show, but right, the thing is self preservation is the first rule of the jungle. I actually thought that when you said that, and I actually said it in your voice in my head. Because <laughs> <laughs> you always said I never so, heard it until uh, you said it. Self preservation. I the actually first never rule heard that. I never self heard that until pres- you said it. If you you will die in this jungle. This world is a jungle. You will die if you don't self-preserve. And if that means that you have to take a hiatus, you have to take three weeks, a month, two months, three months to get yourself to where you need to be, to where you are a beacon of light instead of negative energy, then that's what the fuck you need to do. No, and I said it like... I said it in your voice in my head because I had never heard that before. But you you said that multiple times. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I was just like, this show not going. This show isn't what I wanted it. What I started it to be, if mm-hmm. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like we were here for the good time and the good yeah. jokes. We enjoyed the dark. conversation. <laughs> you got dark. <laughs> and next thing it's a it's a it's black dark. it's a black comedy. <laughs> No, a, we're having a black comedy. Dark. It's a black comedy. But you know what? It's but a the, black comedy, good sis. But that's okay. Like black that's, comedies are funny. But that's okay. Like we're humans and we are living no. the human. But process. honestly, if y'all feel off, because I'm telling y'all, it had been like three or four weeks. I had been like begging people next to me, like I'm feeling really irate. <laughs> and I was like, no, I was just with you. You're fine. I'm like, no. We were together, and I was laughing, but I also was at the function like angry. But you know what's so funny about what you, Ebony? What fucking happen if I slept everything over? But you know what's her? so funny about you, Ebony, is that like I can totally tell when you're you're 
like you can be totally cool like and at the function and functioning but i can totally tell yeah, when yeah. you're when you're zero yeah, and the I thing can is, totally tell when you're. Zero. I did, and y'all, y'all thought to understand because I, yeah, you, know, you were just cracking jokes, and I, I'd be cracking jokes with so, my eyebrow lifted like no, Scar. I'd be like no, Scar. No, so have this, you seen Scar? I'm so like this, Scar. So this one particular time, and I probably said this on the podcast before, but this one particular time, I was working at D Bar. Oh yeah, Ebony when I was working at D Bar, you was just like, "Are you okay?" No, Ebony <laughs> came in. She was with her friends. Uh, I believe you were Danzy. And everybody was kind of like, like having a good time, laughing, whatever. And you just walked to the side of the bar and you just looked at me. And I was just like, are you okay? <laughs> and you were just like, I know, I, I think we should quit this podcast. Because yeah. <laughs> when my shoes was only a month I get, when I start to get overwhelmed. This is the thing. So, like, when I get overwhelmed, I start to declutter. I declutter everything. But... But it was, it wasn't even just, it was not even my whole attitude. My whole attitude. Your energy was so, like... What am I doing here? Why are we here? Why are we talking? Why are you talking to me? Why are you talking back? What are you talking about? (laughs) Why are you talking back? I said, what are you talking about? Why would you want to quit? Why are you eating chicken? We just started. (laughs) Why do you have a purse? I mean, everything. Why is your hair in a bun? Your look, like, because you just walked and you were just looking at me and you just had to squint. And you just had this look about, like, in your eyes. And I, honestly, sometimes I feel like I'm a medium. And I'm very intuitive. And I can feel people's energy. I can read energy. And it's just like you, you, you walked and you cut around that corner. And you stood by that fucking frozen machine. And you just looked. And you're just like, you know, I think... I don't. I don't think we should do the podcast anymore. Oh, and I was just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> we just started yesterday we just started because you have to like. I'm a fan of decluttering. So <laughs> let me tell y'all something. So even though you sh- probably should declutter everything, what I did like the first week from the podcast, I opened up all my drawers in my bedroom mm-hmm. and like threw everything out in the middle of the floor, and then I threw away like old T-shirts. I had like a. I had the Rockets t-shirt from the last time they went to the playoffs, even though they just lost again. I had that t-shirt. I had, like, threw a whole bunch of stuff away, folded a whole bunch of stuff, put stuff specifically like pajamas, Mm -hmm. chill clothes. Mm -hmm. I got a whole bartending drawer Mm -hmm. that's all black clothes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I, like, went into, like, I have three closets I use randomly. So one closet is like accessories and shoes mm-hmm. and all the bullshit. I threw everything out of there. I gave away a, a boatload of stuff. Organized all of it. Stacked all the shoes. Stacked all the bags and like a bucket. Like I did. Basically, I went through. And the thing is, I found my birth certificate. My birth certificate was in my kitchen the whole time. I thought I lost it. So I went. It was like a, my junk drawer. I dropped everything out of it. I had like four decks of cards and some Uno cards. And, like, just a bunch of shit. So, I started, like, putting stuff in, like, those big, uh, like, frozen bags. Mm-hmm. Like, I put all the pins. I had, like, a billion pins. So, I started, like, decluttering because I tried to declutter my life. And I was like, well, maybe let me just declutter my not. house. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm trying to clear stuff out. But yeah. then I go with, I'm not your friend. Don't talk to me. Um, no. What? Bye. Mm-hmm. Everybody, get away. Mm-hmm. So, I was like, well, let me declutter. Like, my, I cleaned up you my stay. freezer. Mm-hmm. I had, like, a bunch of, like old food right now I just have just like bread I need to go grocery shopping now but I like cleared out my refrigerator I cleared mm-hmm. out like everything I could possibly I cleared up my dining room table I had like a billion books and it's, I, it's I cleared. cleared everything I had like I, you know what low key I cannot find my fam you degree because I found two <laughs> the two I found my Walden degree but whatever but I, I started like clearing everything because I was just like alright just get everything away from you because mm-hmm. that that be the thing. I be wanting, like, freedom. And it, it, everybody feels like they're holding me back. And yeah. everything's holding me back. Yeah. And bills are holding me back. And people... Are, so, like, I just went through. And that that is true. Sometimes I need to declutter. Mm-hmm. Uh, I cleaned out. Light a candle and clean the fuck out your space. Girl, get, you, get you a good get you a good playlist. 
Get your good playlist. Get your, light a candle. Get your get, light a couple. And clean. If you got some sage like that, sage, home too. Sage the fuck out your apartment. And you get and I just I decluttered and I was just like, all right, okay, cool. Whew. And then that was like a breath mm-hmm. of fresh air. And then I had to like rethink because I, I I do have like Mary Jane posters on my bedroom door. And I was like, okay, so what do I want? Mm-hmm. And then I realized, like, I liked Recovering Party Girls. I mean, I, I didn't ever question me liking Recovering mm-hmm. Party Girls. It just, I, I know how I think when I'm, like, overwhelmed. So then I started, like, trying to figure out what I needed to do. Let's prioritize. Let me prioritize the business again. Yeah. Of Recovering Party Girls. And then it was just like, all right. Because you don't want to be mean to people you like. Mm-hmm. And you don't want to be... You don't want to be mean to a point where you can't come back from it because mm-hmm. I've done that as well. So it was it was a lot, but not a lot, if it makes sense. Like mm-hmm. it was like it was a lot because they had been coming and I seen mm-hmm. the train. I was watching the train, like, I need to like mm-hmm. chill. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm I'm cruising right into the bruising. Mm-hmm. And it's like <laughs> that's how I felt like I'm cruising into the bruising. And then, you know. You have a moment, and you have to like, oh, okay, thank God this moment was as bad as the moments I've had. But you really have to, like I said, I had, I've been through a dark space before where mm-hmm. I was like, Muhammad Ali, I'm ready to box everybody. And not ready, I box everybody. Possible. I mean, I never told a story about, like, me and my mama got into a fight. It's because I swung on my mama. Like, it's gotten very bad. So, I never want to be in that space again. So, yeah. know yourself. And know where you're feeling off. Because like I said, you should not be in a bad space where you have happy moments. Life is supposed to be happy with bad moments. And figure that out. And again, self-preservation is the first thing. And that's the, the first jungle. thing I thought about when I text them. When you, <laughs> when you feel you are having an off day, an off moment... Like, for me, if I know... Because I have bad moments. Like, I have negative spaces where I get into and I can't be around people. Like... And and a lot of people... And you have have to know yourself. Because some people can actually have bad spaces and they play it off very well. No, I can't. Like, I'm at the point where I can't do that. And and you shouldn't want to function, actually. My negative energy is too thick to where I don't want to be around people that... I give off this energy too. So I have to put myself in a box until I get over it. Like I I know when I'm negative. I know when my spirit is low. I know when my energy is dark. Know yourself. I know that. I mean, yeah, like, I, I mean general. Like I'm not, I not know, you, but no, I'm saying it to them. Like no, it's know yourself. Serious. Like because yeah. it was I, I came around, I celebrated my birthday the second. My birthday was such a long party. I'm I'm so happy it's over. But I got like I got me and a couple of friends flew it out. But even <laughs> ridiculous, I did get a couple of friends. I will be friends with me. I've been getting people flew it out since 2006. But neither here nor there. Um, I did get like I even the people I went with had like personal agendas while we were out of town. Yeah. So. Like, I had time to, to kind of just to still be, be, be with me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hung out with one of my cousins. One of my cousins ended up, like, coming to the city I was in. Well, two of my cousins. One came at one point. The other one came later. I remember I spent, like, a day by the water by myself mm-hmm. for, like, five hours. Mm-hmm. And I just, I traveled with people that really didn't give a fuck about. They was just having to be flued out. Yeah. <laughs> so. No, when I went to Hawaii, luckily, my brothers weren't the type of people that, needed to be around me all the time yeah so like i would wake up it's like, hey, in the where, morning. Where, i'll meet you at dinner i would wake up in the morning or happy I would hour. go to the beach and i would just sit there and just like close my eyes breathe in the air and listen to the ocean like that shit was amazing i mean you should like and it's just that type of stuff like when you go and travel and shit like that like that is like I, like I always have that in the back of my head like and I'm so appreciative of those moments because you know but we're all human it's okay I'm glad you're back come on let's hug it <laughs> let's hug it 
Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank- <laughs> <laughs> but. I'm so. glad you're back. You guys, she's back. <laughs> Ain't no fun. Ain't I ain't no fun when I ain't when, when <laughs> I ain't when I cut up. Bitch, bitch is back. Bitch, My bitch, bitch is back. People, 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 people think it's fun. Oh wait, what is this? Nice. Is this a commercial? It's a commercial. I got a song for you, babe. Hold on. Is this ain't it? This ain't it. This ain't it. This ain't it. You ready? It's a, it's a, that type of song. Oh, you ready to do too much. Thank you for being a friend. Come on, friend. I traveled down the road and back again. My heart is true. Yeah, you have a Oh my god. Play it again. Oh my god. I should not came back. I shouldn't have came back to this though. I should not. Thank you for being a fan. Are you done? Wow. Wow. Are you done? Wow. (laughs) Welcome back, bitches. (laughs) (laughs) So we shall see y'all next week. Adriana don't tour no more, so maybe she'll get back on. My nigga, look, listen, my nigga got mad at me, man. I was drunk tweeting. What you tweet? I ain't seen that. No, I was drunk tweeting. He thought that. Okay, so you can find her Miss School, <laughs> <laughs> Miss School underscore in the city on Instagram. You can find me Natoya Ebony on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all social media. You can find us at Recovering Party Girls on everything except Twitter. It's what is our Twitter name? Party Girls Pod on Twitter. Thank y'all. We back. You bitches act like you miss us. You better act like it. Um, and you know, I look back. Oh, let's 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 cue the music. Let's 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 go back. Hold on. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Oh my god. Come on, bye y'all.